Hello, I'm Lance Fortnow. I recently blogged about a paper by Hiroki Takazawa that showed that a Thello game has been solved um, and that we can actually play the perfect game. So uh, I'll leave links to the paper and to my blog post in, uh, in the notes for this video, but I thought it'd be fun just to see how the game actually plays. So I've loaded it up and let's start out. So the first move, first move doesn't really matter, it's all symmetric. And then you'll see as the game progresses that it kind of remains balanced. Early on in the game, the goal is not so much to uh, try to get as many pieces as possible, but try to give you as much mobility as possible, give you enough, never a possible moves. So it gives you lots of flexibility. And, and you'll notice that you, know, you try to stay in this kind of middle region in the early parts of the game. Finally, white kind of now stretches towards the end, you know, in this, in this next to the uh, sideline. Um, you know, ultimately, in the next part of the game, uh, you really want to start trying to get beachheads on the uh, edges and on the corners because those, you, because the edges are harder to flip and the corners you can't flip at all. But you'll see that the game still kind of remains mostly in the middle one. There, white finally takes an edge piece. Um, black uh, kind of fills in this uh, middle part. So black is now, you'll see that it seems like white is doing a little bit better, but then black, you know, grabs the side on the left. White goes underneath, black goes underneath that. It's a little risky because it, you know, it, it might open the possibility later on uh, for white to get the corner on the bottom left. Um, Okay, so we'll just keep going. Now you notice the entire middle part is completely full and uh, the players are forced to go near the side. So, um, you know, they're, probably, they're really trying to play for position here, trying to avoid actually going to the side because if you go to the side too much, you could get flipped on the side. And uh, so you almost see like a very symmetric game with... Uh, white near the side on the top and black near the side on the bottom. And you can also see how they try to attack the, the, the right side and the top side. Now this is always an interesting move because whoever takes, if you know either white or black takes C1 here, uh, then uh, the other side, you know, Person, the other person actually gets like almost the entire top and won't be able to be flipped later on. So they kind of both avoid that. Um, white goes down to F8 to the bottom. Black uh, covers that, but again, you know, it, if, if white could come out sneaking at B8, you know, it could flip all those pieces. Uh, white is now playing a little bit safe on the side here. Black is now working on it on the right side. Ooh, these, these kind of corner pieces, and those are the first one that's, um, you know, one corner away from the corner. This, and this opens up the, the prop, you know, black can't do it right now. Black doesn't have a gym move A1, but if black could cut off the white somehow, then black would be able to take the A1 piece. And we'll see how that, you know, affects the fact if you noticed by, by making this move. Blah, not yet. Black still can't take the uh, corner yet. Uh, white now plays in the other, you know, the other one right next to the corner. And here black could take the corner, but black's going to instead kind of set up his left side more effectively. White sneaks in and now notice white can now grab the corner if he wanted. Black, uh, instead of trying to protect against it, black uh, grabs the corner on uh, the, the top left. White sneaks in there because, you know, those pieces are going to be, you know, really can't get turned and also opens up the, the whole left side for white. Black uh, grabs that other piece so he can take the entire top side. Um, white's, you know, just kind of grabbing some pieces before black takes, takes the corner. And black, in fact, does take the corner. And white sneaks in in between to grab a few extra pieces. Black now, instead of, uh, you know, uh, trying to grab the corner, Black really takes this piece. We're really kind of really close to the end game now. So Black is really just trying to grab pieces before these corners are taken. 
white does in fact take the corner. Black only has this one move. Uh, white now grabs the corner. Black again has one move, and white finishes here. And you'll notice that, in fact, it's a 32-32 tie. Pretty amazing as this game ends in a tie. So that's the game, the uh, perfect game. According to Takazawa, if anyone made any other move, it wouldn't be able to lead to a win. It could lead to a loss. It could lead to a draw. So it might be more than one perfect game, but this was it. I hope you enjoyed this. And, um, uh, you know, please take a look at the paper itself and on the blog post if you want to know more about this paper. Take care. Bye-bye.